Today, I'd like to sing a little song about... Oops! <laughs> Sorry, gentlemen. Well, the song's not about these dummies anyway. It's a little ditty I've composed, detailing the accomplishments of the women behind the men. Every single First Lady of the United States of America. Please put two minutes on the clock. Oh, no, 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 hold on. You're going to sing about every First Lady in two minutes? Have you practiced this? Well, no, I have not. First First Lady Martha Washington stood strong at Valley Forge. Abigail Adams helped join form his politics. And her son John Quincy Adams was of this number six. Martha Jefferson, that's just 11. Now I'll have to rush. And good old Dolly Madison saved Martha's husband George from the British in the White House. In the War of 1812, Elizabeth Monroe, Louisa Adams, Rachel Jackson, Hannah Harris, and Julia, and Letitia Tyler, Sarah Polk, Margaret Taylor, Abby Fillmore, Jane Pearson. What was I thinking? I had three verses on the tragic life of Mary Todd Lincoln, Eliza Johnson, Julia Grant, and Lucy Hayes, Lucretia Garfield, Ellen Arthur, Francis Cleveland, Caroline Harris, and Francis Cleveland, Dinah McKinley, Edith Roosevelt, Helen Tapp, Edith Wilson, Lawrence Harding, Brad, a paper teller, Grace Coolidge, New Hoover, Eleanor Roosevelt, Lady on a Mission, Head of the United Nations Human Rights Commission. Just like a tea bag, you knew Eleanor was strong, cause she fried when in hot water, just like me singing this song. It's, you did it! That's why the right man for the job is always a woman. 